Hi everyone. So today I wanted to make a video sharing 10 common words that are used in Le Palais Marseillais. Le Palais Marseillais is a term we use for the, the lingo and the words that are spoken by the people of Marseille. So some of these words on the list are specific to Marseille and others are specific to the region of Provence and others may be more widely used in the south. But that said, some of these words are probably not understood by other French people throughout France. So if you were to use some of these words in the north of France, some people would probably not understand you. So that's why it's important to know when you're coming to Marseille, because these are words that you'll probably hear a lot and it's better to know what they mean. So with that said, let's get started. So the first word is pegue. Pegue means calé, is the French word that's often used, which means to stick. So, for example, you could say, oh, ça pegue, and that means it's sticky, if you're talking about a surface. Um, there's also un pegue, which, if you use an example, je me suis fait un pegue d'une amende, that can mean I got a ticket. The second one is moulon. Moulon is often used to describe uh, a quantity of something, often meaning a lot. So obviously we all know beaucoup. Beaucoup means a lot. So in this case, moulon de would refer to something where there's a lot. You could say, for example, il y a un moulon de gens dans le parc. Il y a beaucoup de gens dans le parc. There are a lot of people. Moulon de. Next, we have marronnet. Uh, marronnet is... Um, and the French equivalent would be râler or rouspété, and that means basically to complain or to sulk when you're not happy, when uh, you know you're not happy with the situation. Um, elle va marronner. She's gonna sulk. She's gonna be. She's gonna complain or something like that. Um, if I say uh, il, il marronne, oh, he's sulking. He's you know he he's he's upset. For the fourth word is emboucané. En boucané, there are two general meanings. The first meaning, en boucané, would be to smell, puer. Ça m'en would mean something like, uh, it's, it's really smelly. Or another example would be, uh, arrêtez de nous en boucaner avec votre fromage. And which means in English, you know, stop, stop smelling up the place with your cheese. Uh, the second meaning is um, the equivalent of uh, chercher la bagarre or to look for a fight, looking for trouble. If you're in traffic in, the, in your car, for example, and somebody cuts you off, you can say, oh, il, uh, il m'en boucan celui-là. And that, could be, that would basically mean like, oh, he's look, he's, he, he got me heated or he's looking for a fight. Or when you're really angry, oh, il m'en boucan, il m'en boucané. Uh, the next one is a really good one, uh, number five, dégain. So dégain, the French classic word equivalent would be personne, meaning there's nobody, or personne means nobody, no one. So dégain means nobody or no one. So in, a, in an example, you would say, il y a dégain ici, means il n'y a personne ici, there's nobody here, il y a dégain. And dégain is a word that I've that I've seen that some French people that aren't from Marseille originally didn't originally know and they learned it upon coming to, to Marseille. So if you use dégain in Paris, there's a good chance that the Parisians won't understand you. But in Marseille, everybody who's from Mar Marseille or from you know the region, from the from Les Bouches du Rhône, which is the department where Marseille is, if you say dégain, everybody knows it means nobody. So il y a dégain. Next one, fada or for the feminine equivalent, fadad, means crazy. And once again, this is a word very typical of the area, especially in Marseille, but in the surrounding areas. So in the north, once again, fada, there'll probably be a lot of people that don't know what it means. Fada means crazy. So an example in a phrase would be, oh, il est fada celui-là. Or in classic French, oh, il est fou celui-là. So here you can hear, uh, you also have the celui, and, and at Marseille, it's, it, it turns into celui. Il est fada celui-là, instead of celui-là. Number seven, peu cher. Peu cher, the French classic equivalent would be le pauvre. So when you're looking to either show sympathy with somebody, or if you're being sarcastic, you could say, oh, peu cher. So, oh, le pauvre, oh, the poor thing. So it, 
the French will use it, especially in Marseille or in Provence. They'll often use it in a sarcastic way too if you're complaining, but you're complaining about something that's not really a big deal or in the grand scheme of things, it's not really something worth complaining about. The French love to use it in the in the sarcastic way. Oh, pusher. Oh. You know, it's, they're kind of like blowing it off. Oh, pusher. Oh, pusher. When and essentially they're they're being sarcastic and saying it's not a big deal. Or you can really use it if somebody gets hurt, especially with a child, you know, a child scru scru scruffs his knee. Oh, pusher, ça va? You can say, you know, oh, poor thing, are, are you all right? The next one, number eight, is le cagnard. Le cagnard is mostly used in the phrase en plein cagnard, uh, which means le cagnard is le soleil, the sun. So you could say, uh, uh, je suis uh, cramé, which is also very often used in the salle. Je suis cramé, je suis resté toute la journée en plein cagnard. So it means I got a sunburn uh, because I was in the sun all day long, en plein cagnard. Cagnard is a very good word, especially used in the south. I don't know if it's used in the north. But uh, I, that's why I'm, I'm thinking it's very particular to Marseille and, and perhaps in the south, more generally speaking, but it's in Marseille especially because Marseille is a city with lots of sunlight year round. So there's lots of occasions where we can say, J'étais en plein cagnard. Ma voiture a canné puisqu'elle a, elle elle a été en plein cagnard toute la journée. Canné aussi is a, is a good Marseille or southern word meaning uh, my car, you know, gave out because it was in the sun all day long. So that's uh, cagnard. Number nine, and I didn't realize this was spoken in the south. I thought this was a word used all over France, but I've been told by my Marseille friends that gonflé is very typical of le parler Marseille, the dialect or the, the slang used in Marseille or the, the historical words from Marseille. Gonflé uh, in French in general means to pump something up with air. But in the Marseillais sense, or in the southern sense, if you say, ça me gonfle, ou il m'a gonflé celui-là, it means it irritated you. So the French classic equivalent would be uh, agacé, ça m'agace, ou ça m'a agacé, uh, ça m'a énervé. These are classic French words understood everywhere. Well, in the south of France, or especially in Marseille, people would tend to say, ça m'a gonflé. So, ça m'a gonflé would be the same as saying, ça m'a énervé, that really ticked me off, that made me mad, that upset me. So, gonflé is a very good good verb and a uh, good phrase to use when you're in, in Marseille. And the last one, I wanted to choose uh, a phrase that I want to say all French language learners know quite quickly, and it's the phrase, ça va. So, obviously, we learn quite quickly that ça va means it's going well, or I am well. So, como ça va? Ça va bien, merci, et toi? Ça va. So basically meaning, how, how's it going? I'm doing well, thank you, and yourself. I put this in the list because in Marseille, and, and perhaps in the south, southeast corner of France, the French in the southeast and in Marseille use ça va in a different sense. They use it in the same sense as the rest of France, but they also have their own way of using it. And it's in... Um, it's wherever you would say d'accord or ça marche, meaning okay, or that works. The Marseille people or the people in the southeastern part of France, they will also say ça va. And I've had friends from the southwest of France even, or from the north, that find this very strange when they hear this. And when you live in the south and when you live in Marseille, you hear this all the time. So if I say, um, an example would be, uh, if I say to my friend, bon, je te dis à demain, he might respond to me, ça va. So if, meaning I'll say to him, so I'll, so I'll see you tomorrow. And he would respond, ça va. Okay, that works. Or okay. Whereas in, in the northern France, you can't use ça va for, to, to confirm okay or that works. You, you would say d'accord, okay, ça marche, um, pas de souci. All of these are synonyms that you can use interchangeably. Pas de problème. These work in Marseille as well, but the Marseille people, or maybe the people in the southeast of France, will also say, ça va. And you can't say that in, in, in Paris. If, you, if somebody says, uh, here, I'm going to give you $10, you can't say, ça va. You'd have to say, d'accord, or, or ça marche, or parfait, something like that, but not ça va. So ça va in the, in the context of saying, of using it to mean okay, or that works, is a very Marseille or southeastern French way of saying okay, ça va. 
All right, thanks guys. Please don't forget to drop a like on the video if you liked it. And um, please leave some comments. I'm sure uh, my French friends and Francophile friends from around the world will have interesting things to say if, if they learn something new or if they have something to add to the conversation of the words that I just mentioned. Please, please leave a comment below and I'll, I'll, I'm, I look forward to exchanging with you and, and uh, further continuing the conversation. And if you guys like these sorts of words from Le Palais Marseillais, there's thousands of words and phrases that are used primarily in Marseille or in the southeastern corner of France. So definitely let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll definitely be making more videos in the future for uh, my lessons with the most frequently used words in Le Palais Marseillais or the French or the Marseille, Marseille ling lingo. So thanks guys. Once again, please be sure to like the video and leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, please also subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.